I may have created an artificial intelligence that's a little bit biased towards giraffes. In 2018, I helped create an exhibit that uses artificial intelligence to identify Lego animals built by our visitors. Meet our giraffe-obsessed AI animator. After thousands and thousands of animals scanned and remembered, what can we learn from Animaker today? First of all, when you let visitors as young as three train an AI, it can get a little bit messy. Which brings me to Animaker's giraffe obsession. Our visitors love to make giraffes. They showed Animaker giraffe after giraffe after giraffe. And what did this do to our innocent impression bot? Well, it made Animaker love giraffes just as much as our visitors. Anything that even remotely resembles a giraffe is a giraffe. Which is great if you're showing Animaker a giraffe. Anything else though? Hmm, is the neck on that duck just a little bit too long? It must be a giraffe. Is the hump on that camel's back a little bit too small? Animaker says, of course that's a giraffe. This is an example of AI bias where the data set that an artificial intelligence uses to make a decision or complete a task is skewed in one direction or another. That's why it's so important to use a diverse data set when training an AI. You can help us fix Animaker's bias and broaden its horizons. The only thing we ask is that next time you visit us, please, please, please show Animaker anything but a giraffe.